tandem with our latest 3.9 firmware release, we also have a new version of our device editor. This update contains many significant changes that will improve your editing workflow and experience. Overall, this results in you being able to create faster, better and more effortlessly. Be sure to update to the latest firmware 3.9 to use the new editor. The new firmware and editor are compatible only with each other, so you have to update your firmware before you can use the new editor. In this video, we'll go through a number of upgrades found in Editor 1.2, beginning with the workflow improvements. The MIDI dictionary is now directly accessible on the Edit preset page once you select the control change message type. Just click on Open MIDI Dictionary, select which brand, pedal and parameter you want to control and click Apply. Your desired CC message will be automatically populated. This is much faster than having to click on the MIDI Dictionary tab, search for your desired device and parameter, copy your desired message, go back to the Edit Preset tab and paste the message. Just like with the MIDI Dictionary, you can now also access your user library directly from the Preset Edit page and have immediate access to all your custom PC and CC messages. Introducing the Activity Monitor The MIDI Monitor has been a great feature that allows you to see what MIDI messages are being sent from your MIDI controller. This is great for making sure that your controller is performing the way you want, and also useful for troubleshooting when unsure if the problem you are facing is due to your controller or receiving device. To take this a step further, we have now added an Activity Monitor that shows you not only what MIDI messages are being sent from your Morningstar controller, but also every other interaction and function being executed by your controller. This includes device functions such such as bank jumps, engaging disengaging looper mode, sending MIDI clock, toggling pages, changing toggle states, entering XFX integration mode, and everything else. This is so you know if you have correctly programmed a switch to not only send your desired MIDI messages, but also correctly execute your device functions. Introducing the new Bank and Preset Management System This brand new system gives you much more flexibility and clarity when managing your banks and presets. After you have backed up your controller to your computer, click on Load File to select which backup file you want to access. After you have selected your desired backup file, you will be able to see all the banks within that backup file and drag and drop which banks you want to upload to your controller. You can also upload multiple backup files at once to pick and choose which banks you want to upload to your controller from multiple different backups. After you have dragged the banks you want to upload across, you can double click on each bank to view and rearrange presets within that bank before uploading to your controller. Global Message Parameter Update is a new feature we're introducing with the new editor. This feature allows you to update parameters of a particular MIDI message across your entire controller without you having to update each message one at a time. Say for example, you have a control change message that sets the reverb mix to 75% on a Strymon Big Sky, and you use this message throughout various presets on your controller. But over time, you realize that 75% is too wet for your liking, and you want to bring the mix level down to 50% for all your presets. It would be really tedious if you had to go into every preset on your MIDI controller to change the CC value for this particular MIDI message. With this new global update feature, you can easily update all the messages in your controller at once. First, locate the MIDI message you want to update. In this case here, it is a CC message being sent to our Strymon Big Sky with a CC value of 95 that sets the reverb mix to 75%. Since we want to bring the mix level down to 50%, let's go ahead and change our CC value to 64, which is about 50% of the maximum 100 27 value. But do not click on Save Preset. Instead, click on the arrow located on the top right of the message and select Global Message Parameter Update. This will update all messages throughout the controller that have the exact same parameters. In this case, the same CC number, CC value, and MIDI channel. If you want to update only messages that have matching action types, check the Match and Update Action box. This will update action types if action type has been changed. If left unchecked, all messages with the same parameters will be updated regardless of action type. The same goes for the Match and Update Toggle Position box. If checked, only messages that have the same toggle position in addition to the other matching message parameters will be updated. And you can also update their toggle positions if you wish. This new feature works for all message types. For example, in the case of a program change message, as long as the PC numbers and MIDI channels match, a message will be updated. And in the case of a bank jump message, as long as the destination bank matches, a message will be updated. As long as all the parameters of a message match, it will be updated. We've also improved the user library interface. The user library allows you to name and store your own PC and CC messages for quick access anytime you need them. We've improved the interface of the user library to make it more enjoyable and practical to use now. You can add descriptions so you know exactly what each message does and also tag them to find them easily. These messages are stored in your browser's cache and you can access them anytime you access the Morningstar editor. 
The editor can now be installed as a Chrome web app, available for use even when you are offline. Just click on the download icon on the top right corner of your Chrome browser to download the editor for offline use. We've also added the ability to name your scroll counters, so now you always know which counter belongs to which device when programming a scroll preset. We've also added enhanced SysX tools. Our editor now includes an MSB and LSB calculator to help you calculate what values you need to input for devices that offer finer levels of control using MSB and LSB. We've also added a SysX preset creator that will automatically create a SysX preset for you based on the SysX string you input. Lastly, we've added preset templates to help those newer to MIDI get started more easily. You can pick and choose what kind of presets you want to have from these templates that each contain descriptions of what each preset will do. So if you're not sure how to set up a preset the way you want, just choose from one of these and your preset will automatically be created for you. These are some of the major enhancements and improvements you will find in the new editor 1.2. We hope that you enjoy using it as much as we have enjoyed creating it for you. Do remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots of exciting videos coming up and we'd love to see you there. As always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.